Hi, beloved in the Lord Jesus Christ. I always come with good news. I am so happy because what Jesus did for us was good news and that's it. Can you see what is happening? Can you see the wind of glory? Can you feel it? Can you, can you hear the miracle stories? Can you hear the testimonies? Can you hear the turnaround testimonies for the Lord Jesus Christ? Uh, my heart is always filled with joy. But I don't know about you. I don't know what your truth is because you're concentrating so much on the news. And guess what? They're going to sell you bad news because bad news sells. Bad news travels everywhere. Good news doesn't. The news is not going to tell you that there was a miracle in the hospital. The news is not going to tell you that there are people being healed miraculously in the hospital. Be sure about that. The news is not going to tell you that your prayers are working and that people are being saved. You know, you know, you know, God is so amazing. We have no idea. When God says that when the devil, even when the devil means it for evil, I, the Lord, will turn it around. For the good of my people, for the good of human beings, he meant it. You know that in hospitals, God is raising doctors to pray for patients. God is raising fellow patients to minister to patients. Even those who have gotten to the point where they died, they received Jesus Christ before they died. Listen, our prayers are working. The prayers of the army of the Lord... The army that have, that have raised them up and have taken charge of their communities. Listen, your prayers are not in vain. The enemy has tried to show you only bad on the news just so that you, you will doubt that nothing is happening. There is so much happening. Let me tell you one story. So there was this man, a pastor in Lombardy. <laughs> now he went to the Lombardy hospital. And this doctor called Dr. Urban, guess what? This man is an unbeliever. He said he doesn't believe that God is just. He's believing signs. Now, he, had, he said that we had come to our wit's end. According to his own, his own words, they had come to their wit's end in a hospital where they were no longer doctors, but were selecting who should live and who should die. That is how bad it was. And guess what? God, who loves his children so much, Jesus, who doesn't care? Because you know what Jesus does? When Jesus walks in, he doesn't consider who is an unbeliever and who is not. He has come to save all. He comes to heal all. I don't remember one instance in the word of God that he walked the streets and heard he was healing people on the streets. And he was asking, are you a believer? Do you, do you love the Lord? Do you go to church? He wasn't asking these things before he did those things for the people. Neither is he going to ask about those ones now. He just needs you and I to be in agreement with him so that he will move in love and heal people and deliver. And draw men to himself. So this pastor, although he had his own problems, he was at the verge of death. Glory, he did not care about his own life. The Bible the said, they, did not, they, they do not fear their life to lose it indeed. Now he became a light in the hospital where the doctors say that they had come to their wit's end. According to the doctors, he said that the, the human wisdom had ended. They didn't know what to do anymore. He said when they looked, there was no hope. And he said that this man entered and brought hope to hopeless situations. Some got healed. Some received Jesus before they died. The doctors that they were talking at the moment that testifying, they now believe in the Lord Jesus Christ because one believer chose to be light in the darkness. He chose to be that shining light. The word of God said the darkness covers the earth. But you are the light, the light of the world. The light rises upon you. This man, God has raised people, even the people on the verge of dying, they are receiving Christ before they die. Your prayers are not in vain. Claim the souls for Jesus. That's all he wants. Pray for the souls. Don't give up. Don't stop pleading the blood over your nation. Don't stop pleading the blood over your family. Don't stop pleading the blood over your friends, over your unbelieving friends. There's an era of salvation. There's an atmosphere where the hearts are ready. Listen, people's hearts are so ready to receive the word. That peace. There's not a time that you sit back and say, there is nothing I can do. Believer, this is the time God 
one is counting on you. This is not a time to warm chairs in the church no more. No, this is the time God is counting on you and I to be a difference. To be the light. The light we ought to be. A person who was dying. Before he died, people got saved and went to heaven with him. This is our call. If you're in the most painful situations, that we choose to stand and be a light and allow ourselves for Jesus to use us for his purpose. He came to save all. He came to deliver all. The love of God is not limited to church goers. The love of God is not limited to believers. The love of God is for all. He came. He came to die for all. And that story in the United Kingdom. A colleague was telling me that the streets actually came out to praise God in the United in London. <laughs> you have no idea. It doesn't happen. You cannot even talk about Jesus at work. Yet now we are freely able to open our mouth and talk about Jesus. And people just listen because they will have no other thing to turn to. Because they know that human glory has ended. And it's the time that the wind of the glory of God is blowing and we can all feel it. Don't stand there idly. Jesus is calling on you. There was another story in London Hospital. Where a man said that he was lying in the isolation unit and said, I see you. A cleaner made a difference in his life. A king arrived there and started engaging him in conversation. Then this king started praying. He asked, can I pray for you? He said, yes. He prayed for him. And I started feeling better. Today as I'm talking, this man is out of the hospital. He said he felt from the feeling that he was feeling better. He did not just go and concentrate on his work. He was the light in that place. This is what God has called us to be. He hasn't called only pastors to minister his word. He said that. You, the people who believe, will do what I am doing and even more. This is the time. I saw another video that was so excited that believers are standing outside the hospital in New York and praying over the hospital. This is our call. This is where we should be stretching forth our hand and praying for people. This is a time that we should show that the spirit that God gave to us so for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power. He did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love. We need to show power of God. The power through Jesus Christ. Through the name of Jesus Christ. And we need to show love. What can you do now for Jesus? This is the time he's calling you. He's looking out for the believers indeed. You have been to church for 100 years. This it's the time that you need to be the light. Don't just sleep it off in your home in isolation in quarantine. You can feel it deep down that something is calling to reach out to somebody. Do it. Because the master of Jesus, this is the time that he is calling everybody to get involved. Because the harvest is ripe. He needs, we need workers. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you can do. If you can worship, some people are saying, that, oh, but I'm not a warrior. I cannot pray through the night. You know what? You, you don't have to pray through the night. You just have to say a prayer in sincerity, in love for your neighborhood. You know what? You don't have to pray like all those people that pray and shake their heads. That is not what you need. What you can do, if what you can do is just sing a song of praise to Jesus, that is all that Jesus is asking you to do. If all you can do is to sing a song of praise is enough. If all you can do is to look out for that poor woman in your neighborhood and buy her water, that's what you can provide is enough. To be the light in her life, if all you can do right now is to play instruments to the glory of God as David did. You know, in war times, you know, in fact, let's, let's go back in the, in the scriptures. There were times that the people of God went to war without actually praying. They sang praises and the walls of Jericho came down. Instruments. There was a time that David would play an instrument, the harp, and the king saw the spirit, the spirit that chopped with king saw will lead him. There are times, and it's, it doesn't, God is not with for specific, specific, listen. 
listen, be used to difference. Be used to diversity. God is moving in different forms. God can move it in you just clapping your hands and believe in God that this clap that I am given is unto your glory. God is saying, God is saying, we shall overcome you by the word of our testimony. That is praising Jesus. And by the power of the blood, do not stop applying the blood of Jesus over yourself and your family, over your colleagues, over, over your neighborhood. Protect your neighborhood. Stand and say, because I am the light in this place. Nobody can attack this neighborhood. Nothing, no disease can attack this neighborhood. And it shall happen. Listen, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. There has been no better time for you and I to be alive than now. I don't know which part of the world you are, but if you are in London, if you are in the United Kingdom, why you cannot even, it's in police, you cannot talk about, you cannot be, talk about religion. They call it religion. Mainly, if you talk about Jesus Christ at work, even to uh, somebody who is, is, is suffering and you try to tell them about the Lord, if they take it badly and report you, you are in trouble. You go, you go through disciplinary action. But it's the time that these same people are telling to you and saying, who is Jesus? You cannot sleep it off. You cannot just sleep it off in your home in quarantine. Get a rise. None can say that where there's a, a, a song that has been ringing in my soul. I want to look for it. it, it that, that's hymns. So is actually singing at the background. If you can hear, I looked for it because it was singing in my soul for days. It said, hark the voice of Jesus calling, who will go and work for me? One line that amazed me said, let none hear you idly saying that there is nothing you can do. Because if you cannot rouse the, 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 the demon, you cannot rouse the wicked if you cannot preach like Paul if you cannot do all the great things that other people are doing, you can get to bring the little ones to Jesus, this is the time we are complaining that people are, are teaching our little ones evil things on social media, this is a time for you to give the little ones a choice they are home do not just give them an iPad take their hand and show them the word they are souls when the devil is, has, doesn't have intention of which souls. They take the souls right from the beginning. They are souls. Teach them about the love of Jesus. Now, this is the error. Do not let that soul be taken. Tell them about the love of God. Tell them they will not depart from it. Let that be your truth. Let that we are not. For the spirit that God gives us is not a spirit of fear. Fear is of the devil. Speak about Jesus on your platforms. The harvest is ripe. Hearts are ready to receive. I have a lot of testimonies. I cannot share with you right now, but I've just come to encourage somebody. The when we say whoa, don't think it's just a prayer warrior. I go, ah. sometimes I don't even say anything. Sometimes your sincere song of worship to the Lord can deliver a whole nation. Let you and I trust in Him alone. Let us not trust in anything else but Him alone. He is delivering and He will deliver. He has really turned this around for His glory. I feel the wind of glory blowing. I don't know if you feel it, but God is moving. And the heart of God is the souls. Nothing else matters. The heart of God. He's, that he, when he, he has given us that we believe. Now we can then go on. Then bring others in. It is not by trying to tell others about their wrongdoings. It is about displaying the power of Jesus. Jesus has the power to transform. You don't. Lead the person to Jesus. The word of God said that faith comes by hearing and it's about hearing of the message about the Lord Jesus Christ only speak about Jesus now more than ever praise Jesus now more than ever apply the blood of Jesus now more than ever let people know that indeed we are the light I believe that at the end of this some have died yes but the salvation stories would be hundred times more than the death that we are seeing around.
The media is selling the bad news. Don't let that be your truth. Let Jesus be your truth. Let the love of Jesus be that which you rest in, in confidence. The Lord is keeping you. The Lord is watching over you. Zealously. The Lord will protect you. Just say that I am available. He's not looking for one that is worthy. One that is perfect. Trust me. I have been kicked out. You know, you know how many times uh, I have to go through talking to myself to someone, someone come and stand here. I have been kicked out of my comfort zone. Be kicked out of your comfort zone. To do something for the Lord in this time. Now we have no excuse. There is no work. A lot of so-called important things are no longer important in this time. That's how she told that we were having our priorities right, wrong all this time. Our only priority as men to know Jesus and the salvation that he brings. That is our first call. Then we can share with others that our lives be consecrated to the Lord. So they, let us just say that God I do not, I don't want to just go and stand there and speak to people about just my words. I want to speak your power. Desire the gift. I want to heal people through the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, you can do it too. Jesus said that for those who believe can do more than I have done. Tell him that Lord, I just want to worship until your glory comes down. It shall happen. Men will see and testify of the goodness of the Lord because of the light that you have chosen to be in this time. It is not in yours. Let me remind you, you don't have to do anything by yourself. Just say, Lord, I am available. That's all I say to the Lord. In my heart, I keep saying, Lord, I'm available. I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't know it's all, but I'm just available. Use me. I get a lot of things wrong. I make mistakes daily. I ask forgiveness of sins daily. But I am only available for your glory. It is the name of Jesus I come. In the name of Jesus, in the powerful name of Jesus I come. Not in my own name. That's all that matters. Speak to the Lord today. Speak to him to transform you. To bring your, your heart closer to him. And just say, I am available. I want to be the light in this era. Let the fact that you ought to be a light in this season be your truth. Forget about it. Do not fear. For our God is with us. Jesus has paid it all. So that we can walk boldly in this era. And manifest the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. God bless you.